spoilers. Lucy. I don't know what to say about this movie. It's a, uh, it's interesting. Like the whole using a hundred percent of your brain, like to access everything, like controlling other people. I mean, that's what hooked me. I was just like, dude, if you could do all that kind of stuff with your brain, I gotta check it out. But then I go into the movie theater and find out that it's this little crystal meth looking sort of thing in a bag. And I'm just kind of like, okay, so all you have to do is like sniff it up your nose and all of a sudden you become the most like smartest person in the world controlling everything. But uh, like the fr one, one thing that kind of bothered me was like, when she's able to control all, like, the radio waves, television waves, I mean, there's a reason why people are made the way people are, because if we ha if you're able to hear higher frequencies or, like, lower frequencies, and if anything in between, then, like, we get screwed up, and we're just kind of, like, our brains would kind of, like, go kaboom, basically, because, like, our brains wouldn't be able to handle just, like, the most minute details. And in this movie, they're just kind of like, screw you, I have the most powerful brain in the universe, I can control anything. And it's just kind of like, no. I think by the time you reach, like, they say dolphins use 20% of their brain, so I kind of can understand that, kind of like 20%, you can do booping and beeping of the mind but like once controlling radio waves and kind of like manipulating that your brain would kind of get like hot wired and kind of have a, a meltdown basically but i'm not trying to get nitpicky here that's just kind of like one thing that kind of bothered me about the movie it's just like the more you think about it the more you, it gets kind of weird but another thing was, in the airplane, when she was kind of, like, running away from trying to get, I guess, the other three bags of the baby stuff, like, the energy maker, um, she kind of started evaporating into the air, and so she had to kind of run away into the bathroom so that no one else would, I guess, see her, and then... And then I guess she she exploded basically in the bathroom and she turned into this like powder, kind of like Doctor Who regeneration sort of thing. And then she just kind of like disappears and you're like, and then she reappears somewhere. And that kind of made me, it kind of, it kind of makes you wonder how does she kind of come back? Like, does, does her cell, do her cells kind of like regenerate into like her body? Or does she just kind of like, I don't know, did she not explode? It kind of confused me at that part because it, it doesn't explain. It just kind of like, it shows her exploding. And then it shows her, like I guess, the next day in a hospital. Normal, I guess, when, when the movie started, like her blonde hair, her blue eyes. I'm just kind of like, oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, and that, that makes me think. She, I'm, That reminds me of uh, earlier in the movie. Sorry, I'm jumping all over the place. But uh, when she first took the drug, like it was inside her body in the stomach, and uh, it was released, and she started having seizures up the wall. Like, she would literally start... She literally started seizing up on the wall, on the ceiling, and kind of like the lamps started kind of flickering because she was, like, seizing on the lamps... So that kind of freaked, that kind of, that was, that was the first thing that kind of freaked me out about the movie is that, I guess the, uh, she had the power to defy gravity at such, like, 2%, I think is what it said, of using her brain, and I was just kind of like, what did I walk into? And then here and there, there was this kind of like, Ugh! these, uh, animals, like, I guess like a jaguar and, uh, being, chasing an antelope. At first, I was confused about that, but then I kind of thought when they were ta when Morgan Freeman was talking about the brain and its development and dolphins and things like that, I guess it was kind of showing the 
primal animal instincts of survival. And then the monkey was kind of confusing. It was soaking itself with water and drinking the water. I was thinking, is this Rise of the Planet of the Apes? I don't know. But yeah, Lucy, once she got her powers, she was pretty badass. She started reading in between the lines and she could literally read thoughts. She could control television. When she was talking, she called Morgan Freeman and like two minutes into the call, she went on his TV and said, yo, I'm coming to your house. And he was, he just stared at her saying, thinking to himself, oh my God, what, what is, what is this lady doing? Just controlling my TV, my stereos, my radios, everything. And that was, that was pretty crazy. I mean, that, that would be pretty cool though, just to kind of control TV, turn it on with your mind and be like, and just do that kind of stuff without even like thinking about it. And then she, what she was explaining to Freeman, I, as my brain grows, as my, as my brain capacity grows, I have, I'm losing human emotion and maintaining, like, she's, like, mathematical, like, physics and all that kind of stuff, which, I mean, I guess the more open your brain is, the more you, obviously, like, the more your brain, the more capacity you have in your brain, the more you can do, but I don't think you have the capacity to just instantaneously, like, that know things. Like, I can understand if you can learn things quicker, but just instantaneously knowing something, that's... I don't think that's how brain... increasing brain capacity works. I think it's just more... You can you can use more of it, but that doesn't mean you automat automatically just know how to do stuff. Like, for instance, drive... She, when she drove, she was driving a French police car in France, obviously, but uh, she was in Paris and she said, the cop was saying, I do drive this like, do you drive like this all the time? And she said, oh, I've never driven before. I mean, obviously driving is one thing, but I mean, just like going a drive mode and accelerate. But if you've never driven before and you don't know how to drive, you're not going to be like, boom, I know how to drive like that sort of thing. Like, math and everything like like that. You're not going to be, ooh, I know math. I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, that's, that's something else that kind of bothered me about the movie. It was more like a... You can... You know every. She knew everything, like, right off the bat. Like, the more her brain could be used, the more she just kind of, like, out of the blue knew something. And then... Let's see. There's another part. The... Oh yeah, when she, there were like three other people besides her that uh, had their had the blue stuff injected because the Koreans were trying to sell the sell it to the market and make a, like a profit off, profit off of it, and uh, apparently the Koreans got a got got hold, heard of it, heard that Lucy was uh, kind of just trying to trying to get all these people together. And help them, and I guess get it for herself, she, so she can get a hundred percent. And then, uh, so so there was a battle in Paris. She got all four bags with a little fight of the Koreans, which is kind of funny because uh, once all once she got all the three people together from Berlin, Rome, and I think uh, Paris. Um, the Koreans came by and into the hospital that they were uh, doing the dissection on, and they were trying to get the blue stuff back. But once Lucy kind of found once Lucy found out about it, she stormed into the hospital, and there's this epic standoff between the uh, young young Korean guy. I can't remember his name, but uh, there's tw like six or seven shooters. And then the age, the Korean guy with the the briefcase of do stuff, and he's just like deal with her, and starts walking away, and then she he gets like stuck in this invisible mime wall. He's like, oh crap, I can't get out. So 
He's like, Kella, Kella, in Korean. And then they, all of a sudden, she goes Magneto on them, and the guns go up. And they're like, oh, snap. And then, this is probably, like, my favorite part of the movie right here, is when, with her mind, she just, like, she just kind of, like, blows them to the ceiling. And then, like, one by one, each of the seven, six or seven Koreans are just... I guess get pulled up with a rope or whatever, like an inv like they get pulled up and uh, to the ceiling, and they're just kind of there, kind of like help, help, help! I don't know what to do. I can't do anything, and they're squirming to kind of get like get control, get control again, which is kind of funny. And then the the main Korean guy who has the briefcase is kind of I don't know what to do. She's Magneto. She's controlling everyone. So he's standing there, not knowing what to do, and he just kind of says, "Take the briefcase. I don't, I don't. You can't. You you'll kill me." So she just walks away with the briefcase. It, literally, with the there were two bags in there originally because the third guy was still had a bag in them. She reaches in the guy, pulls out the bag, and just says, "Okay, I got the third bag," and just walks off. And the guy, the guy's like, oh my god, what'd she just do? Well, I would be terrified if that just happened. Like, she was just like, oh, let's go get the bag, gotta go, boom. But, uh, the last part, I was, at the end of the movie, was probably the scariest part. Not the, sc not, not the scariest part, but, like, it was, it was interesting. Because that's where Morgan Freeman and all the scientists are together, and they're... Like, he gathered them together because she called them saying that, hey, I want to give you information. I got to do this. And then he says, okay, I've got the smartest people in the world. You can trust them. So she comes and she gets in this chair saying, I'm going to give you as much knowledge as I can and do what you can with it. So she, the other three bags, she, like, the uh, they put the, they put the other three bags in IV little doohickeys, and they inject her, but one thing that annoyed me, what, if you go see the movie, or definitely go see the movie, but if you go see it, you'll notice that there's four bags, even though she's already used up one of them, like, she used half of it when she was kicked in the stomach by the, one of the Korean guys, and in the airplane, she used the rest of it, and then that's when she exploded, and kind of like, boom, and, but apparently, there was like a, I guess there was a remaining meth in the bag. So there's a little plot thing, I think, right there, where there's four bags instead of three. But she gets injected with all of them. And she turns, she makes this kind of like computer, computer thing mechanism where that makes all the information. And... It's basically the movie right there. Summed up in 13 minutes. <laughs> but. I kind of. That was a good movie. I'd say. Even though there's small little. Stuff. I was Overall I believe it was. Definitely an interesting movie. And definitely. Needs to be checked out. <sighs> but my my I think it's not that bad of a movie. Could have been better. Could have been done differently. But overall, Morgan Freeman, Scarlett Johansson are good actors and actresses, and. can't really think of anything else besides it wasn't it's more like one of my one of the interesting parts of the movie was when she was explaining her the brain potential the that humans created words and numbers to understand things better and to 
limit limitize is the word I can think of right only word I can think of right now. But she was saying that you like the use of numbers, time, and anything, time, alphabet, so that we can understand it to comprehend that life is so out there and uncomprehendable basically that we had to do all this just to understand what's going on we had to make math to make make constants and vary make sense of constants and variables and what goes on in the world because i mean if regular animals like a cow or zebra monkeys i mean she she made it seem like they just live to live and that's life but humans somehow have to make sense of it so they make whatever it is they make science math just to understand the world and progress with it and that's what that's the they're limiting i think what she was trying to say is that we're limiting ourselves with what we're giving ourselves. Which kind of makes sense, but I guess Morgan Freeman's interpre interpretation on, uh, of it is you have to pass it down that the cells in the environment kind of determine your fate. Either if you're living in a bad environment, you're going to be, your cells will try to adapt to it. And then pass it down with reproduction and basic information is passed down. Which is why at the whole point of the movie that she wanted Scarlett Johansson wanted everyone to know about the people, which is kind of interesting. I mean most people, if they had that kind of power, they would screw they would screw people over. I kinda I know I would. I would just be kind of go out there world con people like me i guess i don't know i mean if you had the power to control everything you'd con like you you don't have you don't want to have fun with it i can't want to say oh i guess it's just another day to, to further humankind you would be like i'm gonna have fun with this i'm gonna make chaos basically because that's basically what the world is it's chaos there's no sense of it the world is started with the big bang and that's it's gonna end it started it started with chaos and it's gonna end with chaos basically and that's basically when i went to the movie i was just like when i when i first started like getting into the movie i was just kind of like well, this will be interesting kind of like to see how what she will do with her power which is good because like she used it for the good, not like just not destroying the whole world or anything like that, which is uh, most movies, if they would probably do like Michael Bay or some like James Cameron would probably make a action movie out of it saying, we're going to make her want to rule the world, show the show men that the power of women show that the power can of knowledge can, is so destructive that you can't do anything with it. But yeah, I like the way that this goes throughout the whole movie. Saying that, hey, you gotta pass down information. Don't be an asshole. Don't kill everyone just because you're the smartest person in the universe. But hey, that's my two cents worth. Go see the movie for yourself. Check it out. I mean, I think it's I think it's a good movie. Seven out of ten probably around there. But definitely go check it out. While it's still in theaters, I would say. If not, then you go buy it on D V D. It's always a chance there. Thanks for watching.